see a kid come out of high school, and he's a freshman, and he's a phenom, and you say, in high school, he scored 58 touchdowns and rushed for 1,500 yards, and he did this in their crazy numbers, just off the wall numbers. They get to college, those numbers never happen. Ron Dane had those kind of numbers in college. Ron Dane arrived in Madison in the fall of 1996 as an unheralded 270 pound freshman tailback. He just didn't look like a freshman. He, he looked uh, he very much more mature. A lot of my teammates and coaches knew that I could play just because I was going against our, our defense, and we had a great defense. You know, just me going against them all the time, they kind of knew that I was already kind of ready, you know, because I kind of had my way with those guys, but I don't like to say it. In the Badgers' first two games, Dane saw limited action. The following week, with Wisconsin tied with Stanford at halftime, head coach Barry Alvarez turned to Dane coming out of the locker room. We started Ron the second half, and Ron took over the game. I think, I think he rushed for 80 yards, and a half against them was, uh, it was pretty strong, and, and we ended up winning the game 14-0. Uh, and I can remember their players talking about it, and he earned the starting spot from that point on. After only three weeks, Dane had ascended the depth chart and won the starting tailback position. And his first big test, number three, Penn State. I think that's really kind of when Ron really made a statement. I mean, he rushed for about 129, 130 yards, had a couple touchdowns. Ron Dane is making it happen. Touchdown. And the two touchdown runs he scored on were just unbelievable. I mean, he ran through over, you know, all conference level players and you know he's a freshman he's 18 years old. Ron came around the end and one of the DBs defensive backs kind of took a shot at him you know knocked him out of bounds type of thing. And the thing about Ron you know he's a pretty quiet guy but he's got a good memory too and, and so then later on in the game there was a same guy defensive back squared up on him and he right about the two yard line and he just lined him up in his sights and he hit him and it was just you know and he just stuck him into the end zone. Well, I think people see him, his personality, so laid back. But what people don't understand, he's, he's, he's a tough guy. And he's a fierce competitor. And that's something you don't see in his demeanor. Another thing people didn't see during Dane's freshman year was that he was excelling with only a rudimentary knowledge of the Badger playbook. I just ran the ball, you know. They, I didn't even know all the plays at the time, so. Even if it's times where I'm in the backfield and Cecil Martin is in front of me, he's like giving me motions and numbers, like players on two and pointing to the left or the right, like we gonna go over here. And he's doing this between his legs and I'm looking at him. So it was times I didn't even know, you know, I was just like, all right, well, I guess I'm getting the ball because it's on two and Cecil's saying go this way. So I'm like, all right, let's go. In November, Dane's raw talent and brute strength resulted in a stretch where he topped the 200-yard mark in three of his final four conference games, highlighted by a 50-carry, 297-yard effort in a win over Minnesota. We gave him the ball the first 17 plays of the game. You know, so you don't ever think about having a running back do that, but, you know, he was durable. That's an 18-year-old kid as a freshman, getting 50 carries in a Big Ten game, putting up 297 yards. That's Superman stuff. That's stuff that uh, you don't see from every kid every week. He was remarkable. Dane followed his school record 339 yard performance against Hawaii with 246 more yards and a Copper Bowl win over Utah. In total, 2,109 yards for number 33 as a freshman. And it's still the single season record at Wisconsin. No one can connect conceive going into the season, season that, that he's going to rush and, and, and take over our offense and be our offense. I mean, that was our offense, it was him running the football. There's no way any of us ever anticipated that. Now here he'd come off of that great year, and, and so now people really had expectations, can he really deliver again in, in, a, in a big game like that when everybody's focused on him, you stop him, you stop Wisconsin.